guys! So today I'm going to be doing the iHeart fall tag. I wasn't tagged. Big surprise, right? Um, I wasn't tagged because I don't really have YouTube friends. But I'm doing it anyways, so you know. Kudos to me, right? So once again, I wasn't really tagged. I'm doing it anyways. Just because I don't really do tags that often and I wanted to do more tags because I feel like you guys get to know me more and... Yeah, I'm looking pretty casual right now. I'm just wearing a sports bra and a sweatshirt because I'm actually about to go to my homecoming football game and I was wearing a school sweatshirt, but I took it off for this video, you know, because it says my school name on it. So I just kind of threw something on and I feel like it's okay to be casual in a tag video. So yeah, and also, um, I'm wearing this twisty tie. People have been asking me where I get these. You can get them at Target, but this girl, she is so sweet. She sent me a few of them. She's a viewer of mine, a subscriber, and she has an Etsy store. And she sent me some of these from her Etsy store, and they are so much cheaper buying them from her than even going to Target or something. So I will put her little Etsy name right here, and I will also put it down in the description. So please buy them from her. She's so sweet, and I know she's been a subscriber for a long time because I've, like, recognized her username and stuff. Yeah, okay, now I'm going to get into the tag. Okay, so the first question is my favorite fall lip product. And, okay, I am... I like... I like makeup and stuff, don't get me wrong, but certain makeup items I do not wear. Like, I really don't wear face makeup and lip products I don't really wear. And it's not because I don't like how they look. I love how lip gloss and lipstick looks and everything, but I hate how it feels on my lips. So if I do wear something, it's a lip stain. So I have a lip stain here. I use this once in a while, but it really dries my lips out because my lips are constantly chapped. I've never had non-chapped lips, but this is the Stila Pomegranate Crush Lip and Cheek Stain. And it looks like this. It has like a little brush thingy and you twist the bottom and it comes up. And it's just this really pretty kind of berry color. My lips are already kind of dark to begin with. This is like my natural lip color. So, um, I don't know. I really do like this though. And if I want darker lips one day, I will probably use this. Okay, number two is my favorite fall nail polish. And I couldn't pick one because I love nail polish so much. Um, two of these I actually haven't worn yet. I don't know why, maybe because it's not really full out fall yet. Yeah, it is. What am I talking about? Okay, well, the first one I got like a year or two ago. It's kind of old, but I'm obsessed with it. This is OPI's Meet Me on the Star Fairy. And it looks like this. It's just this really pretty, like, I don't even know. It's kind of like a purpley gold bronze color. I've definitely shown this in like a lot of videos before, but yeah, so it is Meet Me on the Star Fairy, in case you couldn't hear me saying that. But yeah, it's so pretty, and I love this, especially for fall. Okay, and then the next two are Essie colors. I haven't worn either of these yet, but I will because they're amazing. The first one is Dive Bar, and it's this amazing dark teal with, like, purple and green duochrome reflex, whatever you want to call it. And the writing is really tiny, but Dive Bar, and I cannot wait to wear this. And the next one is Essie's Bahama Mama. And it is just this kind of like, it's not showing up right, but it's like a purpley kind of maroon color. And that's one of my favorite colors ever, so yeah, Bahama Mama. Okay, number three is my favorite Starbucks fall drink, and that is the pumpkin spice latte, like everyone is saying, but I love pumpkin flavored things, seriously. Pumpkin pie is amazing. Pumpkin ice cream, amazing. Pumpkin anything. Amazing. I just love pumpkin and pumpkin spice lattes. They are so good. Okay, number four is my favorite fall candle. Okay, this is why I don't do beauty guru tags that often. Brace yourself, guys. I do not own a Bath & Body Works candle. I know, crazy. I have tried to buy them before, but I could not justify $20. I know sometimes they're two for 20 so maybe I should take advantage of that. But I'm just going to show you the one candle that I do burn. Okay, so I don't know where this thing is from. It was sitting in my friend's car like two years ago, and her mom didn't like the scent of it, so she gave it to me. This is what it looks like. It's just vanilla cream. And I freaking burn this thing all the time, and it's still up to here. So, I don't really burn candles that often. The other day, I decided I wanted to get more into the whole beauty guru candle obsessed thing, so I'd like fit in more, you know. So I decided that I would like this thing. And I'm not good with matches, I'm not coordinated, I'm just a failure. But in chemistry the other day, I had to use a Bunsen burner, so I had to light a match, and I did it all by myself, so I thought I was all cool, and I would be able to light this thing. So I lit my match, and went to put it in here, and it burned my fingernail, and it burned like a chunk of my fingernail off. 
which was disgusting. So um, I'm not lighting this by myself anymore, which might explain why I don't really have that many candles. But if I did have a favorite candle, because I have smelled them before, it would be the Pumpkin Caramel Latte Candle from Bath & Body Works because I wanted to get that, but they didn't have a little small one because I don't normally burn them that often, but that would be my favorite. Okay, number five is my favorite fall scarf or accessory. So I have a scarf and an accessory because I had to include more than one since I kind of failed on the whole candle thing. Um, this is my favorite fall scarf. This is from H&M last year, I believe, and I showed this with my mom and it's her favorite too. So it's just black and then it has these kind of like purple and brown and green and pink flowers and I feel like it's just really pretty. It still incorporates like the kind of girliness of like flowers and stuff but it's dark and it's kind of it's just big and warm and it's my favorite scarf ever. I love H&M scarves because they're so big and long. I like long and big scarves. Um, but yeah this is definitely my favorite fall scarf. Okay my favorite fall accessory. I actually got this the other day but I'm in love with it. I mean I guess it's not really just for fall. You could wear this any season, but I just feel like the color of the necklace itself is kind of fallish because it's like tarnished looking. So I've been wanting a necklace with triangles on it for the longest time. And I was in Urban Outfitters the other day and I saw this one and I like crap my pants because it's so amazing. So this is what it looks like. It just has five little triangles and the one in the middle is silver and the other ones are like bronzy. There you go. Now you can see it. I don't know if we'll have it at your Urban Outfitters, but it was $18, which is, you know, not awful, but I'm obsessed with this. I love this so much, and I think it's really nice for fall and winter and any time because it's so pretty, but I just feel like it's more of a fall and winter piece. Okay, number six. Sorry if I'm looking over here. My laptop's here. Number six is Haunted House, Haunted Hayride, or Haunted Corn Maze. Okay, well, I don't really get scared when I go to those things just because... Normally, like, the people that do it are, like, teenagers, so they just try to, like, talk to, talk to me and stuff. Like, me and all my friends just kind of talk to them, so it's not that scary, but, um, I would definitely want to do the Haunted Coin Maze. I've done the Haunted Hayride, yeah, and I've done a Haunted House, kind of. The ones that I go to, the people aren't allowed to touch you, so it's really just people dressed up in, like, masks, just going, like, Ugh, and, like, following you around. So that's not that scary. I feel like if they could grab you, I'd get kind of freaked out. Um, I don't know, but I love coin mazes and stuff, so I feel like if it was scary, that would be even cooler. So I definitely want to do that. Okay, number seven is my favorite Halloween movie. Guys, I fail. I am awful, but I really don't watch Halloween movies. I don't know. I mean, the only one I've heard of is, like, Halloween Town, which I haven't watched, but I guess I'm just going to say my favorite scary movie. And this movie isn't, like, all that scary, but I feel like it's just a classic, like, it's like Mean Girls of the scary movie world. It's like, I don't know, I like it. It's Prom Night and the newer one with Britney Snow. Me and my friend used to watch that all the time. And it's not like the scariest movie in the world. Like, I guess it's only scary at night, maybe, but I love it. And it just, it's awesome. So, watch Prom Night. I really like that movie. And it's really fun to watch with your friends. Number eight is my favorite candy to eat on Halloween. That would either be Krabby Patty Gummies. If you guys don't know what those are, just don't even talk to me. And then I also just like plain chocolate bars. I know that's really boring, but like Hershey bars, yeah, me and chocolate, we're like this. Number nine is what am I dressing up for Halloween as, um, okay, my mom told me that I am too old to go trick-or-treating this year. I know, it's really depressing, and none of my friends are having Halloween parties. So I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to dress up. I'm really sad. I really wanted to be like a Greek goddess. Um, Lolu Fully Loaded just did a video a tutorial on that. And I've been wanting to be that for a while. But that just made me like really want to do it. Because um, I really want to wear fake eyelashes. I need an excuse to wear them. But I don't know. Maybe I'll just dress up as that and answer the door like that. With other trick-or-treaters. We will see. But that's what I want to be. Okay, and the last question is what is my favorite thing about fall? Um, I don't know. Probably boots. That's so boring, but I really love boots. Like, combat boots, riding boots, boots. I love boots. <laughs> I also like going to fall sports games, so like soccer and football and stuff, I really like going to. Um, some of you probably will ask, Do, don't I play soccer? I used to, but I stopped playing. I don't know. So I like going to watching those games and football and all that stuff. 
So that's the end of this tag video. I hope it was somewhat interesting. I know I'm such a fail. I couldn't even answer some of these questions. That's why I never do tags because I never can answer some of them. But um, yeah, so I'm going to tag all of you because I know I feel like a loser when I don't get tagged. But um, yeah, so I'm going to tag all of you. Please leave me comments down below because I read them all. And thumbs up this video if you liked it. Or you can subscribe if you haven't already. And also go check out Stella's... Um, Etsy if you want some of these. And yeah, her name's Stella. I don't know if I said that already, but she's super sweet. So go check those out. And yeah, so I love you guys. Bye.